what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Takashi 69 was released from a federal prison on Thursday after his lawyer argued that he was susceptible to the coronavirus because of his asthma condition. His lawyer actually went to the judge first. The judge said he couldn't decide on the case because he didn't have jurisdiction. But had he known the coronavirus would affect asthma victims like uh, Takashi, then he would have sentenced him to home confinement for the last four months of his sentence. So the lawyer went to the Bureau of Prisons who the judge said had the jurisdiction to grant uh, early release to home confinement. They said they didn't have the jurisdiction because he was not in their custody. So he went back to the original judge and asked again, now the judge, keep in mind, he just painted himself in the corner because he said, look, had I known the coronavirus was going to affect these asthma patients and put them in jeopardy, uh, I would have let Takashi do home confinement. So once he went back to the original judge and established, uh, the judge realized that, yeah, uh, okay, I do have jurisdiction. It was a slam dunk. He let him go home. With that said, the plot thickens. Kuda B, who Takashi hired to knock off Keith Sheaf in Times Square, New York, back in June of 2018, hit the streets just a few days ago. They released him from a federal prison early because of the coronavirus outbreak. Uh, he'll have to go back eventually, but they released him temporarily. Takashi snitched on him, among other people. Takashi snitched on, ooh, man, it seemed like everybody he, he looked at, he snitched on. Just, you, 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 yeah, any direction he looked at, he was snitching on people. Man, that dude was snitching, snitching, snitching. And... Now you got at least one person who might want some retribution on the streets. But I just don't see how he's going to be protected sitting in that house because the feds, even if they thought your life was in jeopardy, they would only protect you for so long. They're not going to just be using up resources, having cops parked outside your house for months at a time. That's not going to happen. He might get a week or two tops. After that, he's going to be on his own. This is truly one of those situations where you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Takashi was damned if he got out of jail. He was damned if he stayed in jail. I don't see how dude is going to make it. I just don't. He has way too many enemies. Maybe if he just snitched on just one person. Maybe two. Okay, maybe three people. Perhaps four people. This nigga snitched on so many people, I bet you he can't even remember all the people he snitched on. He was snitching so much, hell, I thought he was going to snitch on me. And I don't even know the dude. I cannot see it ending well for him. Let us pray. No more talk. What, what the mate is talking about. Yeah.